Huntington's disease presents several cognitive symptoms, therefore affecting intellectual activities. We describe here the most common ones. It should be noted that an affected person may not necessarily present all of the symptoms described here. Furthermore, the severity and the order of appearance will vary from one person to the next. Learning and Communication Affected individuals will have difficulties learning new things. We also notice a slowing of speech and a delay before or between answers. They also have difficulties accessing information they already know. We notice that they need more time to answer a question and that it is difficult for them to organize information. It is suggested to use short sentences and to offer a choice of answers. For example, is your appointment at 10 or 11 o'clock? It's also important to listen well and to leave time to answer. Remember that the affected person usually understands properly, so there is generally no need for you to repeat. Communication difficulties appear rather early on in the disease and progress until the very end. This is a significant source of frustration and limitation for the affected person as well as for caregivers. To find out more about this issue, refer to the video on communication. Memory Other neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's affect the memory of names and events. Huntington's disease is different because it affects motor memory. Therefore, individuals affected with Huntington's remember names and events, but they gradually lose memory of movement that, for instance, enable driving a car, riding a bicycle, playing an instrument, or eating. Perception Problems These symptoms may appear very early on in the disease and can significantly impact daily life, but they're also very difficult to recognize. Affected individuals have problems recognizing and identifying emotions in others, which may harm social interactions. It becomes difficult to properly estimate time. The person is often late or cannot properly gauge the time needed to carry out an activity. The perception of the body in the space that surrounds it becomes worse. The person may bump into furniture or obstacles more often. The risk of injury increases because affected individuals have problems perceiving pain. For example, they might misjudge the temperature of water and burn themselves. Persons affected with Huntington's are also often unable to recognize changes that affect them physically or that affects their behavior. For example, when asked how they're doing, they'll answer that they are fine despite the obvious symptoms that they're presenting. This is explained by a disturbance in the brain rather than denial. Executive functions. Reasoning speed. The reasoning and thought process are slowed down. Affected individuals need more time to think and to formulate their answers. Cognitive tasks are no longer automatic and need more time and energy. it becomes difficult to maintain attention and to divide it in order to do two things at once. For example, driving a car and listening to the radio. Planning and organization. Affected individuals find it difficult to organize their time and to plan out tasks. For example, they'll have problems keeping their agenda up to date, following a recipe, or filling out forms. Lack of initiative. Families will often say that the affected person sits around all day doing nothing. It is indeed difficult for the person to start an activity or a conversation. They need external stimulation in order to do their activities. Impulsiveness. Affected individuals are impulsive, act without thinking, and may exhibit inappropriate behavior or have inappropriate remarks. Furthermore, they're often incapable of waiting and may become irritable or even ask the same thing over and over. Here are some suggestions for caregivers in order to better manage the cognitive symptoms of the disease. Stay calm. Create routines. Use checklists and schedules. Create lists of steps to do in order to carry out an activity. Make sure that the person only does one thing at a time. Reduce distractions when they're doing a task. Turn off the radio or television. 
In case of mood swings, try to determine if there is a cause for which you can do something about. Try to find a balance between motivating the affected person and adjusting everyone's expectations of their abilities.